Well, this isn't the most exciting video in the world, and it's a little bit tedious, and it involves mucking about with transformer oil, which I did test. However, this has to be done, and I'm going to put that transformer back together, and you guys can see how it all goes together, hopefully without any flashovers. The lid, um, as you can see, I had a loose connection there, which caused the arc in, and actually fractured that and cracked it. And we've had some arc in occur on there to earth too, which is not good. We're going to rebuild this and prevent that from happening again. So one of those has to be welded in a new lid, which goes on there. Let's do it. Right, I guess we need to paint that then, yeah? Any um, bare metal work, I just coat with that stuff. It's very good. It's oil resistant, so the underside sprayed with that. And obviously the inside of the box too. Any little contaminants on there. And start a bit of burning. Bits of swarf and metal is a definite no-no. Right, that's clean. It's really important also to keep your um, high voltage leads clean, absolutely spotlessly clean. You don't even want to touch it after you cleaned it because any contaminant on the surface of that, again, will encourage arcing down the lead and we do not want that. This transformer, we want to put it back together and be done with it. You never want to open it up again unless you're silly like me and go stupid with it. I was just having a little chuckle there, you know what, it's really hard to find a spot on this carpet for filming what doesn't have a bloody burn in it. This uh, tag, that's bare metal there and that's crucial because there's a main earth um, connector for that entire lid assembly. So that there is sanded to bare metal and it goes on there. This uh, PTE sheeting can take 30 kV per millimetre. As you can see, just a few turns of it there, which should just assist. And the other end of that, I can pull that wire through and actually physically solder it to the top. That's that end, and hopefully I can pull that cable up and then physically solder that to the top. And that should prevent any nasty open circuits. We don't want that. Might as well have more of that. Right, oil time, I think. You can see now that I've dropped that oil level down just enough to get new terminal soldered on there. What I need to do now is get the oil out of that transformer, transfer it into there, and put new oil in it. I'm going to siphon it out. I'm going to try this idea. Rather than me sucking on the end of the tube, I'm going to pull that through it. Hopefully, it'll pull the oil with it. No sucking required. Right, so we'll see how much mess I get into then, eh? <coughs> Quite a bit by the look of it. Oh, it's coming. Uh, that seems to be working really well, doesn't it? He's working a treat. Much better. Don't forget to put the finger over the end there. It's just a bit of perspex holding that uh, tube. But yep, it's working. Huh. And the end of this hose acts like a little hoover. If there is any bits and pieces on the bottom, sucks them up. Easy. It's going down, isn't it? A few bits and pieces there, nothing much. Right, we've got the oil out, and you wouldn't think that much would have come out of there, but it did. I'm slightly out of breath, I've just carried this bleeding thing upstairs. This transformer box now has new oil, which is 
nice knife. And then we need to solder those ends onto there. Might be a bit tricky. Good job I can pull that through though, isn't it, eh? Easy. Nuts and bolts now. As you can see, that soldered connection is a lot better than this dome that covers that up. Salted. See, before I was using them uh, tops of the bushings as a vent as well, which was wrong. And I'm just cramming the last little bit of oil in there because I want the bottom of those insulators covered. So I'm going to squeeze that half a pint in there. And that should do it, just a couple of mil from the top. Nice little top tip for you guys. If you warm the oil up just before filling the transformer, then you can do your little vent screw up and it will create its own vacuum as that oil cools down to room temperature again. You just release that screw obviously the next day to balance it out again. And that should get the air out of the windings the easy way. Let's test it, shall we? That works. Right guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna have a muck about with this mercury arc rectifier now. See you on the next vid. Cheers guys.